want to tell you a little bit about Isabel and Catherine. Isabel's nine, uh, Catherine's seven. And we've been working on this project for the last two, oh, I'm sorry, and this is Trinity. <laughs> and we've been working on this project for the last two years. When they were five and three, we did these wooden cutouts of dogs and they put their handprints on them and we took them up to Starbucks. I had the girls go up and talk to the managers and say, can we sell these here at your store because you have other artists in here? And the manager thought it was just the cutest thing and he's like, absolutely, you can sell these for the next month. Selling them to raise money for Parkland Burn Camp and uh, Children's Hospital. And they actually raised $887. This is a five and a three year old. Isabel, how many people in the world don't have access to clean water? 783 million. 783 million. So that is basically a country more than twice the size of the United States. I want these two girls to tell you a little bit about what they've been doing. I started this when I was four because my sister I went to school at 8 o'clock and I went to school at 9 o'clock. So in this short period of time, me and my dad would go to my school and we would fold paper. What about this one? They started folding origami. Ken had grown up doing that his whole life. My background is a little unique. I was born in Japan. My dad was a missionary. Then at the end of the year, because we folded a lot, we got all these ornaments. We did a show at Starbucks. It was really Catherine and Ken. And probably a month before the Starbucks show, Isabel started helping and she learned how to do it. And maybe about two weeks before I learned how to do it and started helping. We began taking donations for clean water November 3rd, 2011. And we sold out the very first day. That's kind of how we got started. These are some pictures of what people drink. The bad water that they're drinking right now. That's why yes. they need the wells. Yeah. And this is a picture of them drilling wells, and this is the borehole. One of my most important responsibilities right now is to ensure that when they leave the house that they are fully capable of taking care of themselves. And it starts young. We made like $200 off a lemonade stand once, and it's fun too. That continual progression of successes took them to the next level. We want to make 9,200 bucks. We want to fund a full well. They made over 9,200 bucks. They made $10,000. Take one small step and then another, and you never know where you might end up. In August of 2012, I set a goal that we would raise $50,000 by the end of the year. At that point, we'd only built two wells that whole year. Ken and I both, we looked at her and we said, well, you know, that's just not really realistic. We got out the paper and the pen and wrote down how many hours that was going to take, how many pieces of paper, how they'd have to quit school to make that goal. And the next morning, I was doing my Bible study. And the whole Bible study was on doing what you think you can't do, doing what you're afraid to do, and letting God come in and just take care of all the details that you can't handle. We were not to give up. And literally within two hours, I got an email from someone I hardly knew who offered to help. And so she came the next day with two little girls to learn how to fold. And then like another day later, somebody else came with her girls to learn how to fold. At the end of the year, we had actually raised, with the matching donor, a hundred and maybe eight thousand dollars. And you fold it so it looks like a little triangle. The girls are going to receive the Harry Westmoreland Award from Living Water International. And this is an award that they give to people who have been volunteering and putting their heart and soul in for years, for decades. They look like real stars. Oh, yeah. What we will be able to accomplish with all that money 
is built wells in India, Liberia, Ghana, and Kenya. And how many have been built so far? I think 28. Do you want to eventually go see the wells? Yes. You this do? This Christmas You're going to go to me going to India. We're really pumped up about traveling to India. In some of the locations, they're actually able to sell the water, so they actually have now a revenue stream that they didn't have previously. And our goal is to actually go and teach these children how to fold. They are going to be the givers for someone else to receive a well. You serve people by holding your hands open. This concept of, I gotta hold on to everything that I've made, keeps your hands closed. And when your hands are closed, no one can put more money in your hands. And I have found that if I am constantly giving to others, money just pours in. It's amazing. When you give a lot, you get a lot back, and sometimes you get more than you gave.